Hi everyone, we're going to continue our reading of The Enormous Crocodile. Now, when we left off last time, the Enormous Crocodile had disguised himself as a seesaw in the playground and the children were just about to come out to play. So, when school was over, the children all came running onto the playground. Oh look, they cried, we've got a new seesaw. They all crowded round, shouting with excitement. Bags, I have the first go. I'll get on the other end. I want to go first. So do I, so do I. Then a girl who was older than the others said, It's rather a funny, knobbly sort of seesaw, isn't it? Do you think it will be safe to sit on? Of course it will, said the other children. It looks st as strong as anything. The enormous crocodile opened one eye, just a tiny little bit, and watched the children who were crowding around him. Soon, he thought, one of them is going to sit on my head, and I will give a jerk and a snap, and after that it will be yum, yum, yum. At that moment, there was a flash of brown and something jumped into the playground and hopped up on the top of the swings. It was Mugglewump the monkey. Run! Mugglewump shouted to the children. All of you, run, run! The children screamed and ran for their lives. Mugglewump disappeared back into the jungle and the enormous crocodile was left all alone on the playground. He's looking very disappointed, isn't he? He cursed the monkey and waddled back into the bushes to hide. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier, he said. I shall have to eat at least four children now before I'm full up. The enormous crocodile crept around the edge of town, taking great care not to be seen. He came to a place where they were getting ready for a fair. There were slides and swings and dodgem cars and people selling popcorn and candy floss. There was also a big roundabout. The roundabout had marvellous wooden creatures for the children to ride on. There were white horses and lions and tigers and mermaids with fish tails and fearsome dragons with red tongues sticking out of their mouths. Now for club trick number three. <clears throat> when no one was looking, the enormous crocodile crept up on the roundabout and put himself between the wooden lion and a fearsome dragon. He sat up a bit on his back legs and he kept very still. He looked exactly like a wooden crocodile on the roundabout. Soon, all sorts of children came flocking into the fair. Several of them ran towards the roundabout. They were very excited. I'm going to ride on the dragon, cried one. I'm going to ride on the white horse, cried another. I'm going to ride on a lion, cried a third one. And one little girl, whose name was Jill, said, I'm going to ride on that funny wooden crocodile. The enormous crocodile kept very still but he could see the little girl coming towards him. Yummy, yum, yum, he thought. I'll gulp her up easily in one gollop. And we're going to leave it there. So tune in tomorrow to hear the end of the story. Bye. <coughs>